Hey guys, so I am going to start this episode by apologizing again. Um, I just watched some of the earlier ones, and I realized that my first episode did not have video, and the second episode did not have audio. I uploaded them anyway, because, well, this... I wanted, I wanted everything to be on there, like, I didn't want, I didn't want to just pop in and be doing, um, Tinker's Construct of Pam's Harvest Craft, I didn't just want to pop into that, so, I decided I wanted to, wanted to post them anyway, if you guys skipped the first one, I'd understand, the second one, on the other hand, you should still get the general idea of what's going on. It's, I think it's before I found the base. So, um, yeah. I do want to work with Tinker's Construct a little more. I, I want to make a, uh, I got 11 blocks of gold now. That's wicked. I want to make a silver crossbow, I think. But I have to drain all the gold out of there first. Because if I put the silver in there, it'll make Electrum. And I don't want to do that. Um, I'm just gonna pop everything in this chest here. I tell you what, those loot loot bags are freaking awesome. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, all right, so I'm gonna work with a little bit of Pam's Harvest Craft. Um, primarily, I want to use up mustard seeds. That's uh, primarily what I want to do. And uh, what I figured out was the bees only have so many uses, so I have to actually, I will have to get more bees eventually. But here's some of the stuff I already delved into. I made egg salad. I made spring salad. I finally made some salt. I ground up some cocoa beans. I made apple juice. I got cooking oil, flour. And I'm not sure what I'd do with a fruit and veggie bait yet. But that that's some stuff. Oh, and I made all this wax stuff and uh, a bunch of candles and whatnot. But, um, I didn't get too into it. Uh, go through the update a little bit here. I took on another slime island. And bam, now I got four slime trees. I'm just going to grow all the slime trees on top of my base because, you know, until I... I'm going to make like a, uh... An area out here, I think, for the slime things. I expanded the farm, which I had to because I got new plants. So now I have this. This place. And that one. But um, I'm thinking I'm probably going to go through and eliminate all the mustard plants. Because... I'm starting to stockpile way too many mustard seeds, and I don't have anything to really do with them. So the plan is, whatever I don't use of this stack of mustard seeds, I'm going to throw away. Because, well, I just am. So, click on the mustard seed here, and you see you got mustard and grass, and makes mustard seeds, yada yada yada. But if you back click on it, you have this stuff. So... I'm trying to find the recipe. I got 15 recipes to choose from that use mustard seeds. I did grind a bunch of salt. I need uh, so much more. But I'm going to go through and try to find the recipe that uses the most mustard seeds and other stuff that I have. Without using up one item because I'm not sure what I have planted. It's too hard to keep track of everything. So, let's look for anything that uses the most mustard seed. Uh, I might do this one too, the sausage, because it takes bee grubs, and I have a bunch of bee grubs. But I want to see if I find anything that uses two mustard seeds, so I can use up more of them. Uh, it doesn't look like there is. I guess I could just make a bunch of mustard itself. Yeah, I think I'll turn the rest of the stack into mustard itself. <laughs> okay, so... Yeah, it looks like that's the plan. I'm going to make uh, veggie stick, veggie strips, and uh, sausage. 
So I'm going to need my cutting board, salt, the bee grubs, and mustard. And I'll need three of the same type of vegetable, salt, mustard, and bakeware. So let's see here. Um, bee grubs, I got 50 of them. Three of the same type of vegetable. What's a good one? I don't know if cucumbers will work. Let's hope cucumbers will work. If not, we'll take peppers too. Um, and we'll take winter squash because I have a bunch of those too. So one of those three can work. I need the cutting board, the bakeware, and I need... What was the other thing I needed? Cutting board, big salt. They only have 27 salt. It takes a pretty long time to make salt, so yeah. Um, I have a crafting table over here, so let's um, let's start with the uh, sausage from Pam's Harvest Craft. Got mustard salt, grubs, and um, a cutting board. Let's, let's do that first. Actually, let's do the veggie strips first, because I have more vegetables than I have bee grubs. So I need three vegetables, salt, and I can do more than just mustard seeds. It doesn't matter. I want to use out the mustard seeds. So... We're going to do this recipe first. Bit bam. Let's try it with cucumbers. Salt. And mustard seeds. Sweet, it works. Alright, so we're going to make... Go ahead and make 16 of those. And then let's... Let's go and make um, the bee grubs. Salt, mustard... And we'll make 11 sausages. So, that does that. Uh, let's see, I think it wasn't bakeware. I need the juicer, I think, for the mustard. Let's go in here. Let's put this back, this back, that can go back. <laughs> um, can't fit any more sugar cane in there. Barley's full. Peppers are full. Put that back with the cucumbers. Alright. And then I think I need the juicer. I think that's what I needed. You know, let's look it up just to be just to be sure. I don't want to waste too much time. Yeah, juicer. We'll put that back. We'll put that back. And we'll throw these in here for now with the rest of the food I made. Oh, I made a... Uh, boiled egg, but I needed boiled eggs to make the egg salad, so that came along with it, and I'll throw the veggie strips in there, and this, this food still isn't very good, but it beats starving every time I go anywhere, so I can throw, um, they heal like two hearts, instead of, instead of one or half a one, and now we got mustard. So we'll throw that in the bottom chest here with the, the other ingredients. And we'll put the juicer back. So that, that's pretty much Pam's Harvest Craft. Like, I'm going to make something more extravagant, but I need more ingredients. Uh, today, we are... Well, that's one thing we're doing today was this. Uh, the update. Uh, the apology for how crappy my first two videos were. And, um... I think we're going to explore, because um, I, I'm going to redo all my weapons and stuff, and then I'm going to go and hunt down chickens and cows and stuff, so I can have a bunch of meat to grind up for this. I think the target I'm going to make is... Let's, let's focus on making a... I'm gonna make something kind of cool. What's something I can focus on making? I'm a garlic chicken. Garlic chicken would be kind of easy. 
blueberry pie. I just started making blueberries, so that's gonna that's not gonna happen anytime soon. Uh, put on the cob seems kind of easy. Rainbow curry. Ooh, how about a soup? Let's see what it would take to make. No, I don't want to do that either. Yeah, we're gonna do. We're gonna do something with meat, I think. We are going to try to make. Hmm. That's still kind of simple. Okay. We're going to do honey soy ribs. We're going to work towards honey soy ribs. So I'll need to make soy sauce. I'll have to get pork. I have the honey. I'll have to make vinegar. And I think I have garlic. So let's see. I have one garlic, so that's something I gotta plant. Let's take that with us. Let's put. Let's chuck all this stuff in here. I'll sort it all out later. I'm not too interested in in spending a lot of time sorting things out while you guys are watching because that's uh that's just I find it to be boring. So. We're not going to do that. Uh, take this. I guess we'll take this. On our exploration. And a diamond sword. That should be good enough for weapons. Do I need any tools? I should probably take a pickaxe. Just to be safe. I'll take my super awesome shovel till it breaks. It has mending? Uh, I guess I don't really do a lot of things with, uh... That gain experience with that shovel, but it's fine. When it dies, I have these two, so I don't really care. I made this full armor, too. I had a bunch of uh, thick cloth and decided I'd make this armor. I thought I could wear these four things and then pop this on as a mask, but for some reason, the mask things ain't working. I also noticed that this, um, this mod pack doesn't have the armor casts. So, um, yeah, that's kind of sad. Okay, so what else do we need? I gotta fix this. Should have plenty of bullets. Um, and I need to grab food. What should I take with me? Should I take the sausage? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'll take the sausage. I thought I had iron in here for when I was working on the working on my thing, but it's all it's whatever. One lead ingot takes that back to full, if you're wondering. Um What else was I gonna say? I should probably take a light source just to be careful just to be safe, but I don't I don't have any. I spread them all around my base to try to minimize mob spawns so I can at least sleep when I want to. Let's take... Let's take half the veggie strips. Then I guess... I'm trying to save all of the stuff I make. At least one of each item. Until I need room anyway. We'll take half the veggie strips, and we'll take, uh, half the sausage. That should be enough food to get us where we need to go. By the way, is I'm not exactly sure where we need to go. But I want to do some exploring, because I want to try to find a base that has... Um... An enchanted fishing rod. I can make an enchanting table, and as you can see, I have a good bit of levels. So I can manage, but I don't. <laughs> Chicken. Alright, so I have quite a bit of levels, but I don't have the bookshelves. So 
And I don't think I have enough leather. I might have enough leather. I might not have enough paper. But that's that's not here nor there. I'll worry about that later. So this, I'm trying not to get too many items that I can't use on these excursions, just in case I find a chest. Because I found out that when I'm wandering around, I can, like, fill up on items in, like, just a couple of steps. And that's kind of good, I guess. But then I have a hard time deciding what's worth keeping and not. And if you haven't noticed all the, uh, the, uh, trees that I obtained, I went to the other island off camera. And there was no chest there. I'm pretty sure I just heard a chicken. Another thing is, I don't know how to farm these things. Anything that grows on the trees, I don't really know how to farm them. So... So I kind of pick what I can find as I find it. seems as if chickens are the predominant species in this uh, particular particular area. I find a lot of chickens, not a lot of sheep or cows or anything. Now that I have all these uh, upgraded weapons, like, this is pretty much all I use this for, is chicken hunting. Hey. You were supposed to die. That's pretty, uh, pretty malicious, huh? Just like run around. Oh, I don't know that was, I don't think that was for me. I'm gonna go down in that hole real quick. It looked like there was broken cobblestone, and that doesn't usually show up unless there's, uh... Unless something's built down there. And another good thing about the chickens is I need a ton of feathers, because I want to make... Uh, silver-tipped arrows. Yeah, I was right this corner. Alright, wise guys. Let's, uh... than it should have been. Alright. So, spawner. And looks like nothing good. I think I already have that music disc. Yeah, it's all pretty much trash. The nether quartz is kind of nice because I, I can modify my equipment with that. The iron horse armor I can melt down. String's always a good thing. I'll take the bucket, but I'm going to leave that other stuff, because I'll end up just trashing it anyway. <coughs> That's good. Um, this is aluminum. Only one? Oh, there's another one. And aluminum is, for some reason, really hard to come by. You know, I work with metals in real life. And I did not know bauxite 
is aluminum ore. I did not know that. See how much he's heal? Yeah, two. See? That's a little better than one, I suppose, or a half. Um, the apples were healing a little less than one meat leg mutton chop thing. So, another thing that I'm having a problem with is I want to get rid of all these death markers. Because, I mean, if it's stacked three high, like they had three death markers and then it stopped going up, I'd be alright with that. If they went away after an amount of time, I'd be alright with that. But these show up and stay there forever. I have death markers from when I first started the game. Look at all those exits, they're all places I died. And I gotta tell you, I've been playing a little bit more loose. I've been playing as tight to the vest as I would if uh, Keep Inventory was on. And which, I gotta tell you, like, if I can modify this, if I can change that, which I don't see why I can't. I think I'm gonna take, I think I might do this again and take Keep it, take keep Inventory off. And, uh, take, uh, these Death Pointers off. And then... I kind of want to take the loot bags off, but at the same time, they're they're a lot fun. So I kind of wish they weren't so overpowered. I mean, a common loot bag gives you some really good stuff. Now it's starting to get dark. You know what that means? Yep, that's what it means. And we're like, why? Why is this happening? Who hit me? Oh, oh, tough guy, huh? So we're gonna start running into mobs soon. I don't know if I should head back or what. And you know what? If they kill me, there's just one more freaking marker. So, I don't even think I lose levels if I die. And these chickens are everywhere. I see, I can't hit them with a sword because they'll cook the meat. And I don't want to, I don't want cooked chicken. Mobs are spawning, so let's get some distance between us and them. Yeah, they're already shooting at me. I thought for sure that would kill him. Oh well. So what I'm primarily looking for is uh, any kind of structure that's been built in-game. There's a beehive back there, but I'm not going to mess with that right now. It's not... It's not really needed. I have enough honey and wax and bee-related materials for a while. Ah! That's a new gun. Oh, my helmet died. Alright, that's disappointing. See, and I'm already full. And that's, uh... That's great, because I got a bunch of stuff I can use.
Oh, a new gun. Oh, man. A broken spawner. I get to keep that in these games, huh? Stack that guy up there. I <laughs> can't stack the bones. How messed up is that? Thompson's SMG. Alright, so I'll have to figure out how to make ammo for that. I was thinking about making an ammo press. I think after this excursion, I might uh, start using those grains of infinity I found to make machinery. I was looking into a generator, but there doesn't seem to be too many options in this mod pack. This must be the very basic Tinker's Construct. Like... Hey, do you know what I haven't found? I didn't find any pigs. And I need pork for my objective that I wanted to do. That's kind of sad. I just heard one. Oh, look at that. Asking you shall receive. Better deal with this guy first. See, my durability goes down rather quickly on this weapon, but I can charge it up with one light ingot, so... So I'm not too heartbroken about it. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay. Oh, that's big as a tank. Darn, pig. So, we got some pork. Now, I've seen a couple more pigs up here if I wasn't so rudely interrupted. Ah. Yeah, I know, I'm wasting ammo. But this gun takes stone and gunpowder. Both things I'm not running out of anytime soon. Okay, I'm pretty sure I hit that guy. There we go. What is that? Is that a common loot bag? I think it's a common one. We'll just leave it. One more oinker. There are some downsides to this weapon, though, as well. Uh, the bullet drops quickly. So after five blocks or so, you kind of have to start aiming high. Mm. Aside from that, this is a fantastic... This is a fantastic change from... Um... Vanilla Minecraft. Now, I spent all last night working on a, uh, trying to work on a new mod pack, because I was going to do, like, ten episodes of this, five episodes, ten episodes, I was going to do some number of episodes, and then I was going to change to a different mod pack, and then if you guys liked a particular mod pack, I'd go back to it. But I can't get them to work, and I don't know why. It says something about some mod isn't recognized, and... That's disappointing because, well, it's understandable to a degree because the one mod pack I'm trying to download is, like, just came out yesterday. But then I try to download one that's been out for a, a month or so off the same, off the same website, and that wouldn't work either. But I think I got Stone Block too. Which is kind of cool, but um, I'm not particularly. Stone block isn't something I was really going for, 
Oh, uh, okay, veggie strips are good. But stone block wasn't something I particularly wanted. I mean, I, I like it, but it pretty much has the same stuff this has. I mean, I think it has Thawncraft, which is exciting, because, well, I wanted to, to mess around with that a little bit. But it wasn't something that I was like, I need to have. Um... And the other two mods I wanted was another Pokemon mod, and the other one's a surprise. The other one I don't, I'm not going to tell anybody until I actually get it. Because it's, uh... If I have any kind of, uh... Knowledge about this game at all, I know that particular mod pack didn't exist until yesterday. Some of you might know what I'm talking about. Well, didn't exist till yesterday from today's date, not when this video is going to be out, put out. Uh-oh, lag. So every time the game backs itself up or saves, um, I get a lag. I, I, I think. Uh-oh. Um, well... Okay, I think the adventure's over. Um, that's okay. We're right past the 30-minute mark. So, uh, I think the server's going to crash. I'm going to stop this here. And we'll further into... Uh, I think we're going to do stuff with Grains of Infinity next episode. I think I'm going to mess around with uh, Ham's Harvest Craft, maybe off-camera. But, until then... I will see you guys.